Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, it's that low light test that we've all been waiting for. Well, at least I've been waiting for. So we all know that the Mavic 2 Pro has a really good camera and it's great for on cloudy days or sunrise or sunset because all those shadows, you actually get more definition and more detail in them. But my favorite drone camera of all is the Phantom 4 Pro. That camera has always been amazing. It came out in 2016. I personally think it's a little bit better than the Mavic 2 Pro, but I don't really know in low light, so I'm doing a low light test right now. So behind me, let me move backwards. See that weird little contraption up there? Here, I'll just turn this around so you can actually see it. So I've got the Phantom 4 Pro up there and the Mavic 2 Pro, and you can see that I have some electrical tape blocking out the actual indicator lights. I don't want to freak out the neighbors. So right now it's evening, the sun's going down. Hey, there's a Robin over there. Yeah, what's up, Robin? At least I think that's a Robin. I'm so easily distracted. So what I'm doing is actually capturing little snippets of video as the sun goes down and uh, just comparing one drone to the other to see how well they work with the low light settings. So I'm hoping that they're both identical so that the Mavic 2 is just as good as the Phantom 4 Pro, but I guess we'll find out together. Here we go. All right, this is the image, well, the video image from the Phantom 4 Pro. It looks so good that it actually looks like a still photo. There wasn't much wind. The thing to pay attention to in this image, besides the fact that it looks amazing, look at the ISO. I'm shooting at 100. My shutter is nice. You know, it's a good shutter, 1 240th of a second. Aperture's at F5, which is reasonable. And look at the white balance. It's at 5,500K, so the colors are pretty good. Now let's switch to the Mavic 2 Pro and see how it looks. You'll always notice on a Mavic 2 Pro that things look a little brighter. That's just the way the sensor is designed. For some reason, look at the image, it's brighter. The colors are brighter. I'm still shooting at ISO 100. Look at the shutter, 1 1 20th, so it's open a little longer. Still F5 for aperture. And look at the white balance, around the same, 5200K. So the image should look the same, but I prefer the image of the Phantom 4 Pro in this here example. Although the Mavic's image is bright, bright colors everywhere. Look at that, on the left is your Phantom 4 Pro. The image looks quite decent. And on the right is your Mavic 2 Pro. Sure, it's a good image, but I'm gonna give the thumbs up here to the Phantom 4 Pro. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna zoom into the house on the right, and we'll take a look at how the colors look when I zoom in. So you see the Phantom 4 Pros on the left? That looks very realistic. On the right, the exposure looks a little off. It's like a little too much, in my opinion. Look at on the left, the sky looks perfect, and on the right, it looks a little too white. So I'm giving the thumbs up to the Phantom 4 Pro for that test. All right, it's an hour later, it's getting a little bit darker, and the drones are up here, and uh, let's go check out what the video looks like. All right, so in the last example, the Phantom 4 Pro looked amazing. Now check this out. Now the sun is going down. Look at this image. Look at how dark the left side of the photo is. Look at how dark the trees are. I'm still shooting at ISO 100, so there's no noise introduced into the photo. The aperture is open a little bit more. It's at F4, letting more light in because it is starting to get a little bit darker at night. But watch when we switch to the Mavic 2 Pro. Check this out. Whoa, all of a sudden, that brighter image that the Mavic 2 Pro naturally does, look what happens when the light gets low. Now look at my fence to the left. You can actually make out the detail of the fence and the leaves a lot better. Even the tree above. Look at the leaves in the tree. Everything looks good. I thought the sky would have been blown out, but even the sky on the right looks great. Now let's put the images side by side and check them out. There you go, you actually see it. Look at my fence on the Phantom 4 Pro. It's kind of dark, and even the trees above. It looks like it's a different day than actually on the right with the Mavic 2 Pro. Looks like a totally different day. You can actually see the leaves on the ground on the right hand picture. And look at the color of the grass. It's actually green, whereas on the left it's Pretty much dark. Now let's zoom into that house on the right. Now pay close attention to the sky. Look at the Mavic 2 Pro. It actually has detail in the sky, whereas my Phantom 4 Pro, under low light conditions, kind of loses the detail. Even in the leaves on the tree, it's losing the detail. And look at the settings. They're both at ISO 100. The shutters are similar, and the white balance is not too far off, and they're at the same aperture. So in this comparison, I give the thumbs up to the Mavic 2 Pro. Next up is a photo comparison. I left the camera settings on auto for this, and you can see that the Phantom, 
left the ISO at 100, which is awesome. Shutter's open for quite a long time, it's at f4. Look at the image, it's still kind of dark. Now watch what happens on the Mavic 2 Pro. Auto settings, and it leaves the ISO at 100. Puts the shutter open a little longer, keeps the aperture at f4. White balance is a little bit cooler, but that's what you get. And look at side by side. Well, in this comparison, look at the settings below. I actually prefer the photo from the Mavic 2 Pro. And now it's officially sunset. So uh, the sun is down below the horizon and uh, there's no more light. It's just gonna get pretty much pitch black soon. So let's check out how the drones are viewing this uh, low light at this moment. Here we go. Let's take a look at the dynamic range of the Phantom 4 Pro. Have a look at the sky, which is the brightest object in this image, and the tree to the left, that huge tree down to the fence, that's the darkest image. So can you make out any detail? It's not too bad. The ISO is at 400, so we're introducing a little bit more noise. The shutter is as slow as it can go at 1 30th, and the aperture is wide open at f2.8. It is a good image overall, and I really like how the sky looks. Now let's look at the Mavic 2 Pro. Have a look at the dynamic range on the Mavic 2 Pro. Look at the brightest object, which would be the sky, and look at the darkest object, which would be the lower left of the screen. You can actually make out on the Mavic 2 Pro image that there is a tree in front of the fence. You couldn't see that so much on the Phantom 4 Pro. And look across the street, the grass is green, and you can actually see in between the actual houses. I do like the way the sky looks on the Mavic 2 Pro as well. Now with the images side by side, you can really see the differences. The Phantom 4 Pro image looks awesome, but it's rather dark. Yet the ISO is at 400, same as on the Mavic 2 Pro. The shutter is the same, same as on the Mavic 2 Pro. The aperture is at f2.8, same as on the Mavic 2 Pro. But have a look at the Mavic 2 Pro. That is a better dynamic range than the Phantom 4 Pro in low light. Now, even when we zoom into that house on the right, we're actually zooming into the image here as we've done in the previous comparisons. Look at the grass and look at in front of the house. On the right is the Mavic 2 Pro. You can see much more detail in the front lawn and the little flower garden than you can on the Phantom 4 Pro on the left. So I can see that the Phantom 4 Pro really shows the bright and the dark, but not as many shades in between as compared to the Mavic 2 Pro. So I'm going to give a thumbs up to the Mavic 2 Pro for the video image. All right, let's do a photo comparison. Now we're gonna see that the ISO is gonna increase, let in more noise because there's very little light and the aperture is gonna be at 2.8 and the shutter is gonna stay open longer because this is a photo and not a video. There's the Phantom 4 Pro and as expected, there's the Mavic 2 Pro. Brighter image, you can see much more in the Mavic 2 image on a photo and look at the settings are so similar when left on auto. And let's put uh, side by side and there we go. Both images are quite acceptable, but of course I prefer the Mavic 2 Pro image because you can see more. You know, not everything is bright or dark, it's their shades in between. All right, here it is, pitch black outside, and up there, where are they? You can see them flashing up uh, there. That's the Phantom and the Mavics beside it. So there's a little bit of light in the sky. I don't know if this here infrared camera can pick it up. No, it looks pretty black. But I think the uh, actual Phantom and the Mavic actually might pick up what little bit of light there is in the sky. So let's check out what they're seeing. Here we go. All right, this is the Phantom 4 Pro with only light from the street lights. Can you see that tree on the left? Can you see the fence? Well, you can see a little bit. How about the houses across the street? Kind of dark, isn't it? And the ISO is cranked to 3200. So there's noise being introduced and the shutter is staying open as long as it can at 1 30th and the aperture is wide open at f2.8. Now you would think the Mavic 2 Pro would be a brighter image, but nope, it's pretty much the same, if not a little bit darker. Very strange. You can see the ISO, the shutter and the aperture are all the same. And when we place the images side by side, there's really very little difference other than one image is a little bit cooler and one is more warmer. The actual colors would be the Phantom 4 Pro. That is the color the street lights give off, the more reddish warmer color. Here we can see when we zoom into the house, you can see it a little bit more. The real colors in the evening would be the colors on the left. Cameras have a difficult time when there's very little light to set the white balance, so they usually get it wrong. But still, the image looks great. The most important thing to notice with this image is take a look at the garage door, look at the noise, all that noise dancing around. 
And speaking of noise, look at how much noise is in this image. I've cranked the ISO to 6400. You can only do that if you set the settings to manual. So I've maxed out the ISO. There is noise jumping all around this image. Sure, you can see a lot more detail and objects in the image, but there's a lot of noise. And when I go over to the Mavic 2 Pro, same thing, a lot of noise. The white balance is a little bit off, but you know, actually I prefer this image with everything turning white instead of that reddish color. And here they are side by side. You can see there's lots of noise happening at 6400. And look what happens when I zoom into the house. Whoa, look at the garage doors now in the upper portion of the house. Noise is having a party. There's noise everywhere. So in conclusion, I can't pick either image because the Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro both look terrible when it's pitch black outside. All right, it's pretty dark out here and I'm actually walking now where the two drones are filming, which is this little white patch on the ground. I've got an infrared light on me so I can see myself in the dark. Uh, the drones are set at ISO 3200, which is their automatic setting, and I don't think they could probably see me here. I'm walking by a wood pile. All right, so I doubt if the video camera could pick me up over here, but I'm gonna crank up these lights here. All right, for good measure, I have a second loom cube here. I'm gonna power that one on now and get extra light. Now we're going to test the dynamic range of both drone cameras when it's pitch black out by shining loom cubes to make certain areas super bright and other areas pitch black. And as you can see here, the Phantom 4 Pro does extremely well. Everything looks quite even. And even when we check out the Mavic 2 Pro, same thing. So whatever software they're using with their sensors has got to be extremely similar. Place both images side by side, it becomes even more difficult to see a difference between the two. The dark areas and the light areas are quite even, so other than the color, everything is working out quite well. So I'm kind of impressed. What it tells me in summary is that the Mavic 2 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro both require a light source if you're going to record in darkness. You can't rely on the camera itself or its ISO because it will introduce too much noise. But by having an external light source, the image then becomes rather acceptable. And once again, I just can't pick a winner. Now when you shoot video in blackness, the shutter can't stay open for very long, but when you take a photo, the shutter can stay open for quite a long time. So here the ISO has been cranked to 12,800, huge ISO, and the shutter's open for a long time. There's the image of the Phantom, quite good. Now take a look at the image from the Mavic 2 Pro. All right, this is what I call a really nice image. I like this image, especially it was taken in darkness, so it looks pretty decent. It almost looks fake, it looks so decent. But you can see when I put the pictures side by side, look at the Phantom 4 Pro on the left and the Mavic 2 Pro on the right. Same settings pretty much and the colors look a way better in the Mavic 2 Pro for a low light image. Really outstanding. Okay, so I'm going to go in. <laughs> this looks pretty freaky. So, all right, so I'm going to go in and uh, I got these loom cubes pointing down. I'm going to go in and check out what the video footage looks like. And that sums up my low light test of the Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro. Well, what did I think? Well, I'll tell you this. You know, you saw the same thing I just saw. The Mavic 2 Pro won the low light test. The detail in the shadows of the Mavic 2 Pro was way, way better than the Phantom 4 Pro. The Phantom 4 Pro was basically light and dark. Details in between, eh, hit and miss. The Mavic 2 Pro, light, dark and everything in between. That is perfect. Now I will say this, if you own a Phantom 4 Pro and you own a Mavic 2 Pro, you will know the following. In the daylight, the Phantom 4 Pro is the better camera. It is highly detailed, it's much sharper, and it gets the colors correct. The Mavic 2 Pro in the daylight is definitely not as good as the Phantom 4 Pro in the daylight. So if you're someone who does a lot of low light shooting, you know, as you saw, as I did here in this test, not right till darkness, but you know, as the sun is going down, you will be well served if you have a Mavic 2 Pro because your images will look stunning. Anyways, thanks for watching this test. The next test I'm gonna do is the Mavic 2 Pro versus the Autel Evo in low light, and that's coming up, so stay tuned on this channel. Also, if you don't own a Phantom 4 Pro or you don't own a Mavic 2 Pro, check my link below, check it below this uh, video in the description. You'll see links where you can buy them and uh, get your own. All right, so thanks for watching this video. Post a comment below. Tell me what you thought of the two drones, of either drone. Maybe you own one, maybe you're thinking of getting one. 
Tell me what you thought. Eh, you know, that was a test fair. I thought it was fair, but let me know what you thought. Anyways, we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.